Evening guys, short film again on this hot and sticky night. Um, obviously we've been talking about George Silver, but obviously a lot of you guys are long sorters. Um, so using Silver's ideas, there's little tricks you can do. And this is just a funny one that I noticed um, someone called Mark, I'll just leave it there. It was in one of his videos and someone went into a, basically it's a position that I've seen in lots of different tree tree ties and it's talked, talked about. Um, and it's just a way to use it using Silver's ideas. And, I know this works because I've done it an awful lot and it works and it works well. All it is, we swap sides actually. You see often something similar, not exact, but something similar to this sort of position in a lot of manuals, etc. Okay? Now, what a lot of people do from here is the attack comes in, step in, and it comes to the bind, and all this stuff comes in. Wonderful. But think about how Silver talked about time of the hand, time of the body, etc. If I step in, we're both in time of the hand, body and foot, therefore anything can happen. There's a way to use this in time of the hand, and it draws them in. It's great for competitions and for sparring. If it's for combat, you might hit something vital, you'll probably just annoy them, but you'll do some damage and that's fine. Also being, if you want to use this for sparring and comps, little, little, little trip. This is the position most people take when they're sparring. As we're, as we're gazing each other up, all you need to do is just take a step back and go into this position. As you do that, if they will attack you, then wait. Patient. He has to come in. Keep the position, keep the position. As he comes in, it's out. Re reposition. Now that looks a bit naff because it doesn't work. What you're doing is as they step in and come in for the attack, you're doing this. You're slipping back. It's the one-handed cut, how dare you? But it works. Just do it there and back. The reason why it works is because he's moving his hands, his body and his feet. My attack is just in time of the hand. Experiment with it, pad up, try it, trust me. You will feel like you have got loads of time while this guy, no matter what he does, will not hit you. I have done this a lot. I've done this in sparring, I've done this in sort of semi-competitions, etc. It's a bit cheeky, so I don't like to do it an awful, an awful lot. It's one of these things that once the other guys get used to it, if I'm sparring with these, this is what normally happens. If we're sparring up, as I do that, he does that. He disappears, because he knows what's, he knows what's coming. And I'm not kidding, it's the number of times I've been sparring Back in this position, guy comes in, bang. And you can target arms, you can target head, legs, depending. You have all the time in the world to do it. Now, Mark, we were talking about the vid videos and the scene on one of your videos, your guy went in this position. And when he did it, he automatically thought, the best thing you can do from there is draw the other guy in. Play with it, have fun, try it. Trust me, it works really well.